Doink the Clown versus the Kamikaze Kid. Holy smokes. Oh, his history here. Who was this skinny dork? He was a skinny dork. And honestly, it tells you how great Sean Waltman is. That they even that Vince McMahon gave him a chance looking like this in 1993. Bro, I watched so, this guy as the lightning kid on... Uh, for some reason, we had uh, Global. Global. It was on ESPN, I think. <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah. One day, I'm, I'm flipping through the channels, and I'm watching... You know, uh, handsome stranger, lightning kid, and Jerry Lynn oh, having this too, yeah. match. And I was like, "What the fuck is this great shit?" And then uh, here he was on so, Raw. It's so funny because he still had the L kid on yes. the back of his tights, and they they decided to change his name. Well, they changed it. I don't know if they knew where they were going with this when they brought him in or not, but he was a different kid name every week. It was, oh, all, it was okay. something kid. So it's Kamikaze Kid. Maybe he's Lightning Kid next week. But they changed it. Did on, they ever call him A Kid? That would be awesome. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. He was still had L kid on his ass, Kamikaze kid for his name. So this is a squash, and Doink destroyed him. It was great. I've never understood why Shane Douglas used the belly to belly suplex as a finish. His suplex isn't that good and doesn't look any more devastating than like a normal body slam or anything like that. Hmm. If Shane could do his belly to belly like Doink did it here. He could have been ECW champion today, for all I care. Well, part of it was how awesome of course. Waldman could take these bumps. But yes, I think I think Shane's idea was probably, if I hit this move enough and no one kicks out, I can get over this move. I don't think he really did. I don't think he ever did. No, it was a belly to belly. Doink one time on Raw 1993 topped him. It was so great. This is the evil Doink at the best when he gets up after pinning Waldman and he just glares into the camera. Oh, yeah. He manages to look so ugly, even though he's got a happy face. Yes. On. He's it's very pretty impressive, actually. The, doink, doink, the original Doink, this six or eight months he's around, is phenomenal. It's, it's great stuff. You know, it's proof. It's, it's, it's the exact same thing we talk about all the time. There's so many shitty gimmicks in, uh, in WWF this time. Uh, you know, the we had crocodile hunters and all this other shit. And uh, a lot of them were shitty because, you know, the guy didn't hunt crocodiles. And he got this stupid crocodile hunter gimmick. What? But uh, if you if you could... Embrace your character. You could get over the Undertaker, and you know I've always said I don't think there's anybody else that could have got over the Undertaker except for like Mark Calloway. But bro, I'm watching this fucking doink. This guy's getting over a clown. Oh yeah. So maybe it's possible if he were a little taller, Matt Bourne could have got over the Undertaker. How does man? He got over... over this fucking clown gimmick. How does one get over a typhoon or earthquake gimmick? Well, you don't. You see, earthquake did. Earthquake well, I mean, earthquake, eventer. earthquake did, but it wasn't like he, it wasn't like he was. That's the difference, Vinny. An Undertaker, uh, he's dressed like he's an Undertaker. The other right. guy's dressed like he's. A, you can't dress like an earthquake. I suppose that's you true. can't you just cannot. shake all the time. <laughs> it's just like you know, he's big. He was a natural disaster. They called him Earthquake. It's not really a gimmick. Not like Skinner. Skinner was, was supposed to be an gimmick. Is I, I, I hunt these and crocs. It's tobacco everywhere. That's yeah, stupid. Or the Red Rooster. He was supposed to be a giant cock. <laughs> a huge pecker. That was his fucking gimmick. You can't get that over. No. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> anyway, Doink takes down this poor, helpless kamikaze kid here. Finishes him with one of the lost holds. Someone needs to bring this back. The Stump yeah. Puller. That's some awesome. Oh, and, man. <laughs> He's and pulling poor... This, this poor fucker's stump. <laughs> and actually, it was nobody in the ring's fault because the referee... It's the ref's fault. No, yes. it wasn't. No, the ref, it was a bell ringer. The ref is screaming at the guy to ring the bell, I see. and this fucker won't ring the bell. I see. And the referee's like, ring it! Ring the fucking bell! He's like an early Vince McMahon. Yeah. And finally, the guy rings the bell, and Bourne doesn't let go of this fucking hole until the guy rings the bell. <laughs> and so poor Sean Waltman's oh. like, he's split in two like Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, his hamstring must be sore to this day. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you don't know what's... But, you know, you don't, you don't let go of the hole until the referee... No. Yeah, this is legit. So, Doink, if you don't know what the stump puller is, you, you, you stand behind the guy's head, and you grab his leg and pull it up so his knee is against his own forehead, and you're tearing his hamstring off. And on top of that, he falls back with it. <laughs> Like it's a dragon sleeper or something. He's just just folding. He's doing origami, human origami here. With Speaking of peckers, again. this guy's was ripped in half. No. no. Well, we don't know that. He's basically... Bro, this guy once did the Bronco Buster, and you know what oh, he did to right. his... Uh... He tore something else in half. Yeah, so yeah. he might have had his pecker torn in two from this movie. I'm almost positive we would have heard about that at some point. Maybe. Yeah, anyway. For those, you, for those of you that don't know what the stump puller is, Vinny... Kind of described it. You're basically putting his arms into like a full Nelson, but you're using your your legs 
and then you're reaching up and pulling back on the on the on the leg and it's, it's an assisted forward fold in yeah yoga. yes yeah actually good lord we used to well i didn't but i heard they used to stretch kids like this in gymnastics <laughs> you're not allowed to do that anymore i hear right yeah huh or anywhere else that's strange anyway this is this was a lot of fun I and i hope sean was okay anyone at that level you kidding me i taught stupid kids i was reading this book about bats the book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off Okay. A bat can only fl- fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.